So I'm back out doing some more landscape photography. Um, I've just come up from Hearts Up, which is down there. And I'm going to make my way up onto High Street, which is up there. Um, just going to follow this track. That goes up to Hayeswater, and then we just go up and then right. And then it'll be up on the top. Probably got about two hours until the sun goes down. So the plan is for a sunset over Hayeswater from the top. And then I brought the um, 7D with a 400 millimeter because sometimes there's some deer up here. At least there better I'd be some deer up here. So that's heavy and I don't want to carry it for no reason. So hopefully we see some deer down in the valley as well and we can see that. But I got stuck in traffic on the way up here so I'm about 40 minutes behind so I'm going to crack on. We'll probably stop up at Hayeswater because that's the next nice bit. Well, it's all quite nice but that's the nicest. So we're up at Hayeswater now. Um, it's coming a bit greyer now which is a bit annoying. Um, I'm hoping it clears up by the time we get to the top because I think the sun will go down in that direction. So once we get up to um, sort of about there, that should be a good spot for it. There's a wall at that point, so even if it doesn't look good, we'll stop there anyway and have a look. I usually go to about this point here and look back over the haze water and then you get the valley down behind it. I'll stick an old photo of that on now. Um, I want to try and do something different though because I do that every time I come up here and every time I look through my photos it's like the same sort of thing. So I want to try and do something new. I think that might be a herd of deer down there actually. Let's have a quick look. No, that's a sheep. You sometimes see them by that wall up there and they're usually down on the other side, sort of in between Kidsty Pike and Riggendale. But hopefully we see them. I'll be annoyed if we don't. But I'm going to keep moving and then see what happens with the weather. Got up a bit higher now, and I'm fully convinced there's no deer on this side. So I think I'm going to put everything away for now and then go to where that wall is. That one, that hill there, I think that's a Wainwright. I've never done it because it's an extra hill, but maybe that's a view that I want today because there's a little bit of a glow over in that direction. So the reason I'm thinking that is when you go to the wall that I was on about, you don't get a full view of the water. It like cuts off halfway through or like a, a third of the way into the water. And I, I like to see the edge of the water for some reason. I just don't like it if it's like this. See, I can only see like a little bit of the water. That, that just annoys me for some reason. So we'll get up there and then decide if that looks like it's worth doing. But slightly off topic, I just remembered that we came up here in winter to this spot just to have a snowball fight. <laughs> it's quite a long way considering we parked right down there just to throw about a handful of snowballs because it was rock hard as well, just like blocks of ice. But that was kind of funny. So. That's put me in a better mood. I think sitting in that traffic before put me in a terrible mood. Just like killed the momentum. So hopefully it'll get better. We'll look down onto Hawes Water. Once we get over there as well, there's a gap down. So we'll stop there, look for deer again, then make our way up to the top of High Street. Now I've got it slightly wrong. Um, that's the hill I was talking about. It's doesn't look like the sun's going to go down in that direction. It looks like it's going to rain in that direction. It looks like the sun's going down there. 
but there's three deer over there. Um, I grabbed a couple of pictures. I don't really like the background over there though. It's sort of just grass. So what we're going to do now is, do you see that sort of where it lifts up a bit there? The path goes through there, which means that we might look down onto them deer. Then that stone wall might be on the left. That might be too far away though. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I just don't think it's worth walking in that direction when I want to be right over there, if that makes sense. Looks like I got that one wrong. I think it was better from down there actually, when I was more level with them. They sort of blend into the grass too much down there. But I think that hill will be in the way as well. Because they're, they're right on the edge over there. So yeah, I was completely wrong on this one. But looks like the sun's trying to make an appearance up in the sky here. So maybe once we get up to the top of High Street, looking down Hayes Water, we'll get that. Or, um, there's, a, there's a town at the top called Blee Town. I think if we go to the opposite side of that, look back towards Rigandale, we might be able to get the sunset. That lined up on the map when I was at home. Um, so that's an option as well. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm basically just going to chase the weather now, see whatever happens. I'm glad that we saw some deer though. Proves that I wasn't talking out my ass. So yeah, we're slightly winning. And then hopefully we'll get a nice sunset as well. But we'll get a move on and then stop at the point where you look down over hard water. And we'll put that wall that I was talking about from down there. Um, you can see haze water about there. Um, I'm still not as keen on this view as I am from up there. So I know I said I wanted to do something different, but I think I'm just going to take what I can get today because it looks a lot like I'm about to have a bad day. I'm going to get caught out as soon as I get to the top, which is usually how it works. It usually waits until you sit down to have dinner, but in about five minutes, we get a nice view down onto her, um, Haar's Water in Rigandale, so we'll stop there instead. This is where I usually see the deer. The last time I came up, they were on that rocky outcrop just there. That's the reason I brought the 400 with me, because if they were on there, um, I would have been able to just about fill the frame, or like made like an interesting composition with them with the rocks. The last ones were a bit too far away for the kind of photos that I like, but you can't be too picky with the wild animals because they do what they want really. Ah. A few weeks back, my dad and I went out for a walk. This hill here, that's called Rigandale. And I'm not too sure which way around the cold, but we started at the end of Hard Water like about here behind the hill then there's a zigzag path just there we went up there then up onto this hill that might be Southside Pike or Brands Tree it's one of the two and then we made our way around to about here and then once you got to there you look back onto hard water and it made a bit of a u-shape which looked quite cool. Um, I got a panorama of it. I'll put that onto the screen now. I didn't bother filming that walk for some reason though. I did a blog post about it, but I think the view that I wanted was the last hill that we climbed. But it was quite nice. It was good to do something different. I've done this one about 10, 15 times, but it does change as well. 
which is quite nice. Sometimes it changes in the places that you don't want it to, like those deer, but that's the way it is. Um, I quite like the look of the sky over there for pictures. It looks a lot like rain to me. So I think what I'm going to do is try and get up there before that comes and then I'm going to leg it back down the way that we came because I really don't feel like getting caught in that today. I'm up at the top now and it's just got a lot darker because of that cloud. Um, I'm not too sure what the best thing to do is now because I want to show you both um, Bleetan which is that way. Um, here's a trig point. So it's that way. That's the sky. Or Hayes Walt is that way. That looks nice from the camera. So that's what we're going to go with. There's a little path just down here. A lot of the time when you're doing this kind of thing, you've just got to make a decision and stick with it rather than half ass in two things because you can't be in two places at once and the light's not going to be there forever so we're going to end up in the same place that I usually go to and this is sort of on the way down as well so we can take it right so we might be able to escape this rain and we might also get a bonus view in that direction there's a big, um, sort of, it's a trig point, but it's a massive one. I'm not sure what it's called. You can just about see it on the horizon there. I've walked that way a couple of times. Um, it's not my favorite way to go though. So I'm not gonna do that tonight. But we should get a view down onto Hayes Water in a second. Now, one thing I just noticed, there's a load of Herdwick sheep around here. So, if we get the camera ready, we might be able to get them in the frame as well. And because it's quite grey, I don't think we're going to need filters or anything. Um, I'm going to keep a lens cloth out, because it's started raining now. I'm going to use a trigger release, so we'll get that. I'm going to use a 24 to 70 on the 5D Mark III. Do with some more pockets really. So we'll keep the lens cloth ready to go. Um, we'll plug this in, ready to fire. We can set the exposure while we're here, then we're ready to just fire it once we get down there. Now I've got the ISO a bit higher than I'd like to, just because I want to try and freeze the action if there is a sheep, and then we can always try and go faster if it looks possible. So that's all clipped in. The lens cap's still on and we'll just try and sneak down there. I think if we go down to the left a little bit, just make sure you don't fall down there because you're not gonna get up again. That didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. So we'll go back to the first plan. So got the camera down here and then I just left it down there in case that fell over but there's a load of um, rocks down here so I think maybe a portrait shot down there might look quite cool The photo with the sheep didn't really work. Um, it's not worth scaring them just for a photo, so I just let it go. The weather keeps changing. Um, the clouds are coming in now, but it's like a sunny bit down here now. Um, I've got the camera set up at f14 just to get everything in focus. And then I'm just like, I'm with this weather isn't coming through. It's starting to rain a lot. Um, 
sun's out. It can't make up its mind. Um, but I think what I'm going to do is get a couple more shots here and I'm going to make my way back down. But I'll probably end the video here because it's really grey and you can't really see much. And you might be able to hear it, but it's chucking it down now as well. So, not the most successful walks. Maybe if I didn't stop to photograph the deer, it might have been a bit better. Because we'd have been here a bit earlier, but I quite like the photos of the deer, so I don't regret that really. But if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. And there is just one more thing actually. Um, I was making my way back up down the route that I came on and you can see the clouds that we were just in the top of high streets in there so just got this wall leading up to the top and you can see the pass um, just got an F8 to get everything in focus and then I think I'm going to have to start moving pretty quickly now because it's about quarter to ten so it's soon going to be dark but yeah at least we've got something else not what I wanted but it's something see you next time